What's up guys, Austin here, long time no see. It's been, a, it's been a minute, you know? It's been a while since I made a video and I apologize for that. It's been, uh, things have gone a little crazy here on my end and yeah, it's been kind of just occupying my team, but I wanted to like make a video just to kind of give you guys an update on like where I'm at, what's going on with Chia, what are some of my thoughts on the things that are going on right now, and we're gonna go from there. It's been a really long time since I made a video, so I think let's just cover all the things that are going on. So my farm is still running. Uh, I am starting to A, add some more of my hard drive space. Um, I have, you know, another, a good amount of, of, I think like around 200 terabytes left and I've been trying to figure out how to actually set that up. My original plan was to have one single farmer and have everything connect to there, but I'm starting to run into some of those connection issues, right? Like you can only have one computer. Uh, you can't take in that many hard drives and connect that many of them. So I'm working on that. And what I'm doing now is I'm gonna set up a second harvester that's gonna also run. And that's my plan. So yeah, have a second harvester, adding hard drives to that. But at the same time, I am replotting a lot of my current plots that are solo plots and moving them over to poolable plots. If you guys were wondering, so first of all, Mad Max using that, it's completely changed the way my Threadripper system works. I was getting somewhere between, I think, 65 to 75 plots a day, right? Using just traditional staggering. Mad Max, I run two threads, not two threads, two like full processes um, and each of them run 30 threads on my Threadripper, and then I have it basically running to my RAM disk, and then I have two different SSDs that just kind of take it for the rest of it. And that has made it super fast. In fact, it's been kind of insane, actually. You know, I'm getting close to, I think, like 110 plots a day, um, somewhere around there. I, I don't remember the math, but basically one of those processes takes about 24 minutes to complete and then the other one takes about 27. So basically every 24 and every 27 minutes, uh, I'm getting a new plot. And so that's really, really fast. I'm super happy with it. The one thing that I have noticed is running Mad Max is getting my computer insanely hot. I have to now open the case up and actually have a direct fan blowing into it. Otherwise it just, the temps on that CPU, I think hit about 90, almost, I think 90 degrees Celsius, which is way too hot. Um, for comfort, especially for it to be running that long. So got to open the fan and actually get a lot of airflow through there. And that helps a lot. That actually drops the temps back down to like the 65. So makes a big difference. But yeah, Mad Max, if you guys aren't using Mad Max, definitely use it. Tons of pros. You know, I know sometimes you don't see that much of a performance improvement over parallel plotting, but I think the biggest convenience is your ability to start and stop whenever, right? You can start running your system, it'll start churning out plots, you don't have to wait for it to ramp up and do all of that. That that part takes a lot of time as well, so you're just banging them out really quickly and that's obviously good. If anything goes wrong, if your computer shuts off, if you have a stupid Windows update, whatever it is, right? Being interrupted is just gonna stop your one plot rather than like the 16 or 20, 30, whatever that you're running at once. So definitely get Mad Max if you got, there's plenty of videos on it. I know this is a very old topic. I know it's been out for a while, uh, but it's, you know, proven, tested. I definitely recommend doing that. Next up, the other topic I wanted to talk about was what pool I'm joining. And right now I'm currently in space pool, kind of, you know, I think, I wanted to do my initial pool, but things got complicated. It became basically very logistically hard to actually set up a pool, run it from the United States, which is where I'm based. And so I kind of dropped that idea, let someone else do the hard work, which is you know good for them. Like they're doing great. I think they have a lot of stuff. They're continuing to add more features. And like, I think a lot of people are joining. So I'm part of Space Pool. There's other ones up and coming, I'm sure, but I haven't really looked at them. I think Space Pool was like the first to get out. And they've had a pretty, you know, robust system. I've been getting some payouts there. I, I don't have that many plots still yet, like allocated to them, but it's slowly growing. And then I'll talk a little bit more about my setup. Once again, you know, I have that Threadripper system. I have this current system, which I'm going to dual boot into Linux. The goal, essentially, what I the, what I have to do left for my whole setup before I can literally just set it and forget it is max like fill up the rest of my hard drive space. So I think I have about 14 or 15 hard drives left. I just bought a brand new case. Uh, you can't see it. Let me see. Uh, 
Maybe you can't. They're right here. We got one of these. Um, actually, it's my second one. And so, in this case, the Fractal Define 7XL, if you guys haven't seen, I think I've talked about it already before in my previous video, but it's a really good case for storing hard drives. You can mount up to 18 um, if you use every single slot. There's some limitations to it, uh, like if you have like an air or a, like an AIO cooler, like a water cooler, if you use some of the fan slots either on the top or the front, it's going to limit your ability to mount hard drives. But it goes up to 18. I'm probably going to put 14 or 15 in there if I can. And that will kind of cover the rest of it. And this will become my Harvester computer. It's the same computer I'm talking to you on right now. I basically switched my Threadripper out and I've converted it into a full Ubuntu system, which kind of kills me on the inside. I'm not going to lie. Like, I wish I could be gaming and editing videos on it, but I'm using this AMD like 5900X instead. And it's plenty fast. It works for the games, it works for everything else, but I'm going to dual boot Linux. And then I have one enterprise hard drive in here so I can use the Mad Max plotter, go crazy with it. And basically, yeah, goal is to fill up um, the rest of the drives here as well as replot everything else on my farm. And I have 2,700 plots to replot. So it's a little bit of work, but that's kind of the plan for. And then, you know, I think that'll take me about a month and a half too. And then I'll be basically done with plotting farm will stay and that's where the boring stuff just kind of comes in right like i think we've seen I'll, I'll talk about price actually too now that i think about it she is kind of you know it peaked right and if you're still in it good for you honestly because this is the time you really want to make those strides i think a lot of you know the hype is a little like it's gone which is in my opinion really good if you're still sticking with it um if you haven't watched my video about you know like kind of what i learned from ethereum mining Basically, like I said, right, there's going to be this lull where things go, you know, Chia's price crash. I think at the time, at the time of this video, I think it's like below $200. You know, people are less interested, there's less incentive. Also, you know, the Chinese crackdown, all that jazz. So right now, honestly, like Chia's price is kind of sad and like your profitability is not great. Like, that's a matter of fact, like if you buy a 16 terabyte hard drive, I don't think you can even get enough return with pools over a year, right? Like I think with like, I don't know how, I don't know what it, how much it's gonna cost, but basically that price suppression has really slowed down net space growth and all of this other stuff, which, you know, is, if you take it at face values and then you're like in for a quick buck, it sucks and that's not great. But if you're in it for the long haul, like I am, and you believe in Chia, then I actually think this is like the perfect, perfect position to be in. You don't have to worry, like NetSpace is growing slowly. So that means that you have enough time, regardless how fast your computer is, to finish your plots, get in there. And then you're gonna just start kind of collecting, right? You're gonna like, let it go, pools are up. You're gonna get a stable, steady stream of income of Chia coming in. You know, you just let this run for two, three years. It's gonna be boring. Like it's gonna be really boring after this guys. Like it's, there's not gonna be that much exciting stuff until kind of Chia IPOs and you start seeing more projects on Chia, but right now it's gonna be really freaking boring. And that is honestly the best place to be. You don't want a lot of hype, right? Cause our net space was growing like crazy. You guys remember that? It slowed down a lot, which is super good. And yeah, we're just, you know, kind of hovering around a little bit over 30 right now. And, and that's great. I think this is good. This is your opportunity to maximize your like accumulation of XCH. So if you're in it, you're feeling discouraged, whatever, don't be, this is like a great opportunity. Kind of look at the, the, the half cup, uh, the full half, half empty or half full cup, like look on the positive side of stuff. You don't have, you know, you have less competitors. You're ha you have an opportunity payout's going to be a little bit slower, but like if you ever believe that crypto will rock it again and God knows when, like whenever it is, but when Bitcoin goes from 30 K right now up to 60, maybe if it even goes up to hundred K, right? Everything else is going to move with it. And so if you're accumulating a decent amount of Chia right now, imagine what it's worth when it's like 8X. 8X is back to where it was at 1600. But then like, think about the potential going forward, right? That's my advice. If you're still in it, you're still kind of paying attention. Obviously it's gonna get a little boring. You just keep that farm on, keep that maintenance and stick with it. And as for me, yeah, like I said, I laid out my plan kind of for the next month. If there's any other things or topics you want me to address and talk about, I'm happy to do that. Leave some comments. 
And then if you guys haven't already, do a huge favor for me and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. Let me know also like what else you guys want to talk about. Um, you know, I'm thinking about this channel. There's only so much I can probably talk about on like with Chia every day and it probably get kind of boring. So like, do you want to see videos on other cryptocurrencies? Do you want to see videos on hardware? Do you like, let me know what you guys are interested in. I'd love to take this channel and kind of branch it out. I'm going to probably rebrand it. It's just going to be my name, kind of get rid of that Chia Collective and you're just going to know who I am. And then we're going to go from there. That's it for this video. It's going to be a quick one. It'll be probably a little bit before I make another one, unless you guys have some like really urgent things that you want to talk about. Leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts. Am I crazy? Am I stupid? Is she a waste of time? I don't know. Who knows, right? Like, regardless, hope you have a good day wherever you are, and I'll see you next time.